Meet the incredibly large creatures that have inspired nature lovers throughout the ages, and us. It should come as no surprise that some of the largest animals on Earth live in the ocean. Some of these creatures remain elusive and wildly mysterious. That's what happens when you live in a place as unexplored as the wide, wonderful sea. So consider this the next time you're standing on the shore, looking out into the ocean, staring into the abyss, so vast and never-ending. And then suddenly a whale the size of a bus breaches, or a deadly jellyfish as big as a car floats silently below the surface. Don't get us started on what could be waiting in the deepest parts of the ocean. Here are the 15 world's largest sea creatures ever seen. Oh my god! <laughs> Number 15. The Blue Whale The blue whale is not only the largest animal alive today, it's the largest that ever lived. However, figuring out how they came to be so big has been a challenge, as large whale fossils from millions of years ago are rare. This whale swam the seas around one and a half million years ago, far earlier than previously thought. Blue whales reach mind-boggling dimensions on a diet composed nearly exclusively of tiny shrimp-like animals called krill. A single adult blue whale consumes about four tons of krill a day. The giant animals feed by first gulping an enormous mouthful of water, expanding the pleated skin on their throat and belly to take it in. Then the whale's massive tongue forces the water out through the thin, overlapping baleen plates. Thousands of krill are left behind and then swallowed. Blue whales are among Earth's longest living animals too. The oldest blue whale found was determined to be around 110 years old. The average lifespan is estimated at around 80 to 90 years. Thankfully, since being designated a protected species in 1966, its numbers have started to rise again. With our continuing support, blue whales will be around for future generations to marvel at for many years to come. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14. Giant Pyrosomes Shocked divers found themselves a monster measuring more than 26 feet long. Who wouldn't be shocked, especially when it appears to be a mega long worm? These giant glowing sea worms aren't actually worms though. They're pyrosomes. That's because a pyrosome isn't just one animal, it's a free-flowing colony of hundreds or thousands of individual organisms called zooids, which are amazing. Zooids themselves are small multicellular creatures that filter feed by pumping water through their bodies and catching phytoplankton, bacteria, poop particles from animals, and anything else they can clean up. This process of pumping water in one siphon and out another makes them part of a group known as tunicates or sea squirts. Another nickname, cockroaches of the sea, for their ability to see food out of even the least hospitable environments. Charming, but necessary. One diver commented, you've got to be kidding me, after swimming near the giant translucent worm-like creature that looked like a giant windsock. It was a pyrosome, big enough for him to swim through. Obviously, not a good idea. Number 13, the giant leatherback sea turtle. Leatherbacks are the largest turtles on Earth, growing up to 7 feet long and exceeding 2,000 pounds, named for their tough skin that resembles rubbery leather. And these big beauties have been around a very, very, very long time. These reptilian relics are the only remaining turtles that trace their evolutionary roots back more than 100 million years and have existed in their current form since the time of the dinosaurs. Unlike many other reptile species, Leatherback turtles are able to maintain warm body temperatures in cold water due to some unique adaptations. They have a specialized blood vessel structure that allows them to maintain a body temperature that is higher than the surrounding water. This provides them with a major advantage in the extremely cold waters and probably why they have been around for so long. Once prevalent in every ocean except the Arctic and Antarctic, the leatherback population is rapidly declining in many parts of the world, unfortunately but you can still find leatherback sea turtles as far north as Canada. It's a turtle. They tend to nest in the tropics, however, within the US, the leatherback is known to nest in southeast Florida, Puerto Rico, and even the US Virgin Islands. Number 12. The Bobbit Worm The Bobbit Worm. It's a gnarly little beast. 
found in warmer oceans around the world, this weird worm buries itself into sediment, leaving only its mouth exposed with its huge scissor-like jaws open wide. Five antennae protruding from its head act like tripwires. If a fish should accidentally brush past one of them, it has mere milliseconds to flee. And gotcha! The bobbit worm's razor-sharp mouth parts strike with such velocity that prey is sometimes sliced clean in two. A couple inches wide and up to 10 feet long, the bobbit worm stays hidden under tropical sands with just its five antenna poking out, waiting. When it senses prey above, it moves with stealth speed and major strength to grab them. It also injects them with a toxin to help break down its food to make it easier to digest. So this isn't just a worm, it's a weapon, and a very powerful one. The bobbit worm can be found burrowed in the ocean floor at depths between 33 feet and 130 feet. Incredibly, this predatory worm is known to grow up to 10 feet in length, making it the worst enemy for many fish and crab species and making it the scariest worm you'll ever lay your eyes on. Number 11. Deep Blue Brought into popularity by the Jaws movie series and celebrated by the TV's popular Shark Week, great white sharks are megastars of the shark world. Let's start with rows of up to 300 serrated, triangular teeth. They grow to be about 15 to 20 feet or more and can weigh more than 5,000 pounds. Great whites are found mostly along the coasts of Australia, South Africa, California, and the northeastern United States. They prefer warm, salty, temperate coastal seas. The great white can swim not only on the surface, but also more than 820 feet deep. Great whites are considered social creatures that travel in a group called a school or a shoal. When one great white wants to take the other's prey, both sharks will display various slapping demonstrations to discourage each other. They try to avoid fighting because just one bite might disable the shark permanently. For most, it would bring back terrible memories of the scene from Jaws where the immortal line, you're gonna need a bigger boat, was uttered. A team of divers spotted the largest great white shark on the planet. This enormous predator named Deep Blue is up to 50 years old, weighs two and a half tons and measures 20 feet long. Number 10. Whale Shark Could you imagine catching this beauty? Years ago, an ambitious Pakistani fisherman needed at least five cranes to reel in a 40-foot long whale shark from the waters. They are huge and they're awesome. As you can see, the massive whale shark, which was said to weigh between six and seven tons, is just that, a whale of a shark. Just look at the size of it, the whale shark, which is the largest fish in the sea. And if you ever come into contact with these gorgeous giants, don't be afraid. Whale sharks may be imposing physical specimens, but they're gentle fish and sometimes allow swimmers to swim alongside of them easily. The whale shark is found in open waters of the tropical oceans and is rarely found in water below 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Studies looking at vertebral growth bands and the growth rates of free swimming sharks have estimated whale sharks' lifespans at 80 to 130 years. Whale sharks have very large mouths and are filter feeders, which is a feeding mode that occurs in only two other sharks. They feed almost exclusively on plankton and small fish and pose no threat to humans. I think it'd be pretty cool to swim alongside one of these creatures. Number 9. The Bootlace Worm Divers have become used to tales of monster sea worms, but a specimen discovered recently off Australia changed the game. With an estimated length greater than any other known animal at around 150 feet, a worm bigger than any animal? Yeah, it's true. Meet the Bootlace Worm which, in a nutshell, is a string of free-swimming hydrozoans, each with the ability to clone itself. And when this super-long worm is irritated, it releases large amounts of thick mucus that is poisonous and can paralyze and kill crustaceans and other small sea creatures, but is not so dangerous for mammals. Ribbon worms have highly developed muscles that allow them to contract their bodies, shrinking to a tenth of their extended length when threatened. That contraction also helps with consuming prey, which can sometimes be three to four times fatter than the worm itself. However, it's totally possible that the toxins from the bootlace worm can be extracted and used in pharmaceuticals, pharmacological tools, in biotechnology, and as agricultural insecticides. So it's important to learn more about these strange animals. In 1864, a specimen washed ashore in the aftermath of a severe storm by Scotland, which was 80 feet long. Number 8. Giant Ocean Manta Ray 
The manta ray is the largest species of the rays. The largest known specimen was more than 25 feet across, with a weight of about 3,000 pounds. It ranges throughout tropical waters of the world, typically around coral reefs. Similar to the largest fish like the whale shark and basking shark and the largest mammals, the blue whale, they also eat tiny plankton, something very big eating something very small. They constantly swim along with their large mouths open, drinking in plankton and other small food. To aid in this strategy, giant mantas have specialized flaps known as cephalic lobes, which help direct more water and food into their mouths. And these giant manta rays are found worldwide and are commonly seen offshore in oceanic waters and near productive coastlines. Giant mantas are known to undergo long migrations and may visit colder waters for short periods of the year and can dive over 3,000 feet. And did you know giant manta rays have the biggest brains of any fish studied so far? They use that brain power to learn about their environment, exercise their memory, distinguish between objects, and even recognize themselves in the mirror. Number 7. The Giant Isopod Is that a bug or what? Of the 20 known species in their genus, the standout giant isopod is the biggest. Yet yeah, they're kind of weird looking, but they're also kind of adorable. Here are a few things that we do know. They're not bugs, they're crustaceans and are closely related to marine crustaceans like shrimp and crabs and prefer a mud or clay floor, which they burrow into for shelter primarily in the Pacific Ocean. And they get big, really big. Typically, giant isopods are between 7.5 and, and 14 inches in length, but one specimen pulled up in 2010 was 2.5 two feet long and scientists aren't quite sure why these isopods get so enormous but believe that their huge size might be an adaptation that helps them survive the extreme pressures of the deep ocean. And of course, they're carnivores, believed to be scavengers, feasting on dead animals that fall from above. Giant isopods also attack trawl catches, creatures caught in nets to be dragged onto fishing boats. Giant isopods are found in most oceans of the world. Their habitat ranges in depth from the dimly lit sublittoral zone at 550 feet to the pitch darkness of the bathypelagic zone at 7,020 feet. Number 6. The Giant Shipworm The shipworms are marine bivalve mollusks, notorious for boring into and commonly eventually destroying wood that's immersed in seawater, including wooden piers, docks, and ships, sometimes called termites of the sea, they are also known as Torito worms, and in the Philippines, the shipworm is called tamalock and is eaten as a delicacy there, marinated with vinegar or lime juice, chopped chili peppers and onions. Sounds delicious. Similarly, the delicacy is harvested, sold, and eaten from those taken by local natives in the mangrove forests of Indonesia and Thailand. In the early 19th century, the behavior and anatomy of the shipworm inspired the engineer Mark Brunel Based on his observations of how the shipworm's valves simultaneously enabled it to tunnel through wood and protect it from being crushed by the temp and protect it from being crushed by the swelling timber, Brunel designed an ingenious modular iron tunneling framework, the very first tunneling shield, which enabled workers to tunnel successfully through the highly unstable riverbed beneath the Thames, the first successful large tunnel ever built under a navigable river. Thanks, shipworm. Number five. Ocean Sunfish The ocean sunfish, or mola, is a very large, sun-shaped fish that gets its name from its habit of floating on its side at the sea surface, enjoying the hot rays of the sun. Yet the ocean sun ray is chill like that. However, it's the heaviest bony fish in the world, reaching weights over 5,000 pounds, and the distance from the top of the dorsal to the bottom can be as much as 14 feet. It might be, but totally harmless to people. Ocean sunfish are foraging predators that will eat a variety of food, mainly jellyfish, which are almost exclusively made up of water and are low in calories and nutrients. So a fish with a body as large as the ocean sunfish has to eat a whole lot of jellyfish to get the required nutrients to survive. But adults are too large to be threatened by anything. But the smaller sunfish are a favorite meal of sea lions, killer whales, and large sharks. California sea lions are known to bite the fins off of small ocean sunfish and then play with them like frisbees. Polynesians called the sunfish king of mackerel. It was considered bad luck to kill sunfish, lest their loss prevent mackerel from making their way to the islands. Number 4. Giant Oarfish Known to reach up to an out-of-this-world 110 feet long and weigh 600 pounds, giant oarfish are a deep-sea fish. They're typically found at depths of around 656 feet, 
but can lurk as deep as about 3,280 feet in the deep seas of the eastern Atlantic Ocean and Mediterranean Sea. The origin of the oarfish name is unknown, but because of its long, thin shape, the oarfish fish is sometimes known as the ribbon fish. Even though it's a deep water species, it's not too uncommon to see an oarfish. These long, silver creatures have been known to wash ashore on beaches after storms. They also have a habit of floating near the surface of the water when they're sick or dying. Because of this, it's believed that the oarfish may be responsible for many of the legendary sightings of sea monsters and sea serpents by ancient mariners and beachgoers. But the oarfish is thriving and not considered to be an endangered species. The silvery fish are sometimes called the king of herrings because of their superficial resemblance to the smaller fish, but they're named oarfish because of their long pectoral fins which resemble oars. Number 3. Lion's Mane's Jellyfish the lion's mane jellyfish cannot be missed with tentacles up to 120 feet long. Its lion's mane of long, hair-like tentacles hanging from its body is the inspiration behind the name. Of course, the unusual creature's mouth is situated on the bell's underside, surrounded by tentacles that are divided into eight clusters of up to 150 tentacles each. These tentacles are equipped with deadly poison and with a powerful sting. The lion's mane jellyfish feasts on small fish, tiny crustaceans, and even other jellyfish to satisfy its appetite, and they never stop swimming. Lion's mane jellyfish are continual swimmers and can cover huge distances, but most prefer to swim solo. Although large swarms of jellyfish occasionally happen when storms and tides are active, and they can glow. The lion's mane jellyfish also possesses bioluminescent abilities, meaning it's able to produce its own light and glow in the dark underwater. Shine on, jellyfish! Shine on! Research has suggested that jellyfish actually thrive in areas that are affected by human activity. Overfishing, climate change, and pollution have helped promote more frequent jellyfish swarms while reducing the jelly's main predators. Number 2. Magna Pena Squid Lurking deep beneath the surface is a species of squid that wouldn't look out of place in a sci-fi thriller. Magna pinna have never been captured or sampled, but rare video footage reveals their alien-like vibes. Sometimes referred to as the big fin or long arm squid, it's over 25 feet in length with thin elastic tentacles thought to be between 15 to 20 times larger than the squid's body. And as you can see, the squid often will hold some of their arms at a 90 degree angle from the side of their body which gives them the appearance of having elbows. Very little is known about the feeding behavior of these unusual creatures, although scientists believe that they feed by dragging their arms and tentacles along the seafloor, grabbing organisms off the floor. But they may use a simple trapping technique, waiting for prey to bump up into their super long arms, which shivers in the dark as the special creature slowly makes its way across the featureless abyss. Forever facing downward, they end in arms like spider webs, which delve into depths even more unfathomable. They look like unholy puppet masters, stuff of nightmares for sure, but fret not, they're located seriously deep, deep, deep near the bottom of the sea. Number 1. The blow of a minke whale is rarely seen, though smelt easily if upwind of observers, earning the species the nickname Stinky Minky because it smells. Get it? What do we know about these whales? Very little. However, thanks to a long-standing photo identification study done with researchers on the British Columbian and Washington coasts, it was determined that minkies in this area do indeed migrate. It's known that they're moving to warmer waters during the winter months, but there's still much to learn about where they go during this time. We are really so lucky that the dwarf minky whales visit the Great Barrier Reef every winter. Commercial whaling practices may have reduced minke whale populations in the western North Pacific and the northeastern North Atlantic may have been reduced by as much as half. Commercial whaling's over-exploitation of other large whale species, however, may have allowed minke whales to prosper from the lessened competition and increased availability of food. Those are 15 of the world's largest sea creatures ever seen. Thanks for watching.